Hey guys, welcome back for another video. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps, and I am like really, really, really pumped. I just did an Instagram Live. So if you caught that Instagram Live, thank you for showing up and hanging out with me. It was really fun, and now I feel like I'm just like still hype from that. Uh, but today we are going to be talking about lustworthy makeup products. So if this is your first time watching a video like this, first of all, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I do upload three times a week, so you're definitely going to find something that you love on my channel. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm going to upload. Now, Lustworthy Makeup Products, this type of video, is definitely about new makeup products that have either just launched or will be launching in the future. If you are a makeup lover and a collector of sorts, then this is the type of video that you're going to love. And it's just interesting to see what is coming out, especially for the holidays as we get closer to the holidays. So let's get into the first one. Now I feel like lately collaborations with influencers have been like all the rage. Now the first one I want to talk about is um, I Love Sarai and Colourpop. They've collabed in the past and now uh, I Love Sarai is coming out with a beautiful gorgeous red lipstick and I will put it somewhere up here for you guys. Man, this is beautiful. It's called Arriba, and it's just like this strong kind of red. This is the kind of red that I love. It almost reminds me of Ruby Woo from MAC. It's like that kind of strong red. Ooh, I just, it's like screaming my name. Now, it's going to launch um, August 26th. I believe it's going to be one of their ultra matte lip formulas. So, um, yeah, definitely. I've heard a lot of people in the past say that they don't like the formula because it's kind of dry. Always exfoliate, always moisturize your lips, and definitely put a liner underneath it. I'm just, I gotta like cop this shade because it is just, uh, it's beyond beautiful. Now, speaking of collaborations, um, I mean, what would this video be if we didn't talk about makeup Shayla? She has collabed with Maybelline, and props to her because she's the first influencer ever to collaborate with Maybelline. And on top of that, being, you know, a beautiful black woman, it's just amazing to see brown girls win and do amazing things. So I can't wait to support this collab. So she came out with a City Mini palette and she customized this. This is more of like an everyday kind of, you know, for the girl that goes to work or the girl that's in school and wants to wear something and have some um, options in terms of colors. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. And she also came out with three different uh, Big Shot mascara colors. So it's like, I believe there's a black, there's a blue, and then there's a um, purple. And they're all really, really, really beautiful. And they do sell them at Ulta. So I believe you can get them on Maybelline and on Ulta. And the best thing about Ulta is, if you're in the States at least, that you can use coupons. Now you know how sometimes they have those coupons it's like 350 off if you spend 15 or more and they have the buy one get one half off so um, if you can cop that from Ulta either online or in stores then that's gonna be amazing Mac has a ton of good stuff coming out um, now this one I'm gonna start off with it's not coming out until next year but you guys okay let me just tell you about this okay check this out now Mac and Alia are collabing. Um, if you don't know who Alia is, girl, girl, she is the late and great, um, beautiful songstress, and she had some of my favorite, favorite, favorite songs back in high school, and uh, I love her. I love her stuff. She's just amazing. So it's really cool to see her, whoever manages her estate and stuff, you know, kind of give the rights to that, that she can collaborate with Mac. And I cannot wait, cannot wait to see what they come up with because I know my money is flying out of my wallet and out of my bank account because, you know, it's Aaliyah. Um, now this collection is supposed to launch in the summer of 2018. I know it's a long time. Um, there isn't really any details about what it's going to be. I'm just looking at it right now. It's just going to be 
a collection. So we're all gonna have to keep our eyes peeled. Up next is this little guy right here. These are swatches of the Nicki Minaj and MAC collaboration. So it's a collection of nude type lip products. There is going to be two lip gloss products and the actual names are going to be under the sheets and just nude. And for the two lipsticks, uh, one is going to be called The Pink Print and Nick is Nude. So I like those names. They're definitely more on the pinky side as far as nudes go. So they're not like brown nudes, they're like pinkish nudes. They are, do look really, really beautiful. And then they're also going to be launching some of the MAC staple lip products along with that collection. But those are the two like absolutely new shades that Nikki has come up with. So um, yeah, I can't wait. Hopefully I can make it down to my local MAC to like swatch these before. But you know what? I have a feeling it's gonna sell out like really, really, really fast. But I definitely wanna know what are your guys' thoughts about this collab in the comments. Um, are you feeling it or are you not feeling it? Okay, now this next product right here is not something I'm particularly excited to talk about, but it is a new product. So, um, Jouer Cosmetics is collabing with Jeffree Star, and they're coming out with a lip topper shade. Now, I'm looking at it on my computer, and it's called Sweet Tooth. So, it's a glittery uh, pink kind of shade. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while, you know how I feel about Jeffree Star. I'm not really a big fan, and I don't think I'll be purchasing this, but I think it's worth talking about because, you know, I can't just talk about products that only I love that are coming out. Like, we gotta talk about everything, you know what I mean? Everything. <laughs> but I do have a, a lip topper from Jouer. This is the Skinny Dip, and I kind of wanted to show you what it looks like as far as the formula. Now, these are supposed to be, um, slightly less opaque so that they will show the hint of your lipstick base color underneath. Now when I take it on my arm here, you can see this one is definitely pretty shiny but you can definitely see my skin tone very clearly underneath. So you can build it up, you can you know leave it kind of bare but I mean you'll be able to see it girl, you'll see it. But there's still kind of a lot of spots for the actual base color to appear underneath. So, I mean, I love Skinny Dip. I think it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lip topper. So for those people that do like pink or are big pink fans, then I think this one is going to be a big hit. Now for this next product here, Hourglass Cosmetics just launched the Ambient Lighting Palette. Now, it includes three lighting powders, a bronzer, and two different blush shades. Okay, guys, so as you can see from the picture right here, <laughs> I almost have to laugh because this looks really, really beautiful on the fair and medium skin tone. And then when you get to the dark, like, tell me why it looks hella ashy, though, you know? It's like really side eye worthy, but <laughs> uh, for those of you guys that are fair and medium complexion, I think it's probably going to look really nice. I wish that they would have come out with a medium dark edition or a dark deep edition or something that would have had colors that just looked better because it's almost like why did they put the swatch there so that we could all see that it looks ashy, um, at least on my skin tone. But I think the idea of this palette is really, really beautiful and the rose gold packaging is like, ugh, making me swoon because I'm a sucker for good packaging. So yeah, I mean, Hourglass Cosmetics could do a whole lot better in the dark, deep range, but I will have to say, this palette does look pretty. I'm just wishing that I could wear it, you know? Okay, so this next one, I'm like so excited about it. I love Glam Go, you guys. I love their masks. I like the Super Mud, and then they have that one in the green packaging too. I forget what it's called, but the white jar and the green jar are like my go-tos. When I just need to like get all that gunk and stuff out of my skin, they're bomb. Now, they're coming out with a special holiday edition mask. I mean, okay, take a look at this. It's a black glittery mask, and it's supposed to be a peel-off firming treatment. 
I'm totally a sucker for skincare. I mean, I love, love, love makeup, but I love skincare even more because, you know, it's important to take care of your skin. But if you make skincare fun for me, I'm like, okay, like, let's do this. So I can't wait to get my hands on this for the holiday. There isn't a set date. It just is coming soon. So it's definitely going to be part of the holiday edition. And also, if you can get your hands on it at the Sephora VIB sale, then that's going to be even better. Moving on, oh man, Kat Von D is coming up with these beautiful glitter veils. Now, I mean, can we just take a look at these swatches and appreciate them? Like, I just want them all. If that were possible, I want them all. <laughs> they just look beautiful on so many different skin tones. Now, these glitter veils can be um, used on top of any lipstick if you want to add like a nice glitter kind of look. Or you can go ahead and add multiple layers to make this more of an opaque kind of lip look and just Ooh, beautiful. It is beautiful. Now they are going to retail for $22 each. We've got about eight different shades and they are Wizard, Reverb, Satellite, Televator, Razzle, Shockful, Dazzle, and Rocker. And just to let you guys know, they are available right now. So if you want to purchase them, you can totally do that. Or you can wait for the B.I.B. sale like I'm going to do. Um, but ooh. Don't they look beautiful? Let me know what you guys think about them down in the comments. Now, come September 18th, I'm going to be at my computer, I'm going to be on the Sephora website, and I'm going to cop this baby right here. So this is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I mean, all of those purple tones are telling me that I need this palette. I wasn't really a fan of the rose gold palette. It just didn't seem as intriguing to me. But this palette looks like it's going to be very, very brown girl friendly. And just those shimmer shades, like I don't have a lot of those shimmer shades. I'm like, I need them. It's almost like I'm like drooling at the mouth for them. It's like ridiculous. Uh <laughs> But yeah, this is definitely going to launch globally in Sephora. And also internationally, it's going to be at Cult Beauty and Herod's and Selfridges. So that's pretty cool. I, I really wish I could see more swatches of these. I've seen some swatches on the Trend Mood Instagram page. I need more. I need more. We can all use more. But let me know what you guys think about this palette down in the comment section. So this next product is such a really cool cool makeup product and it's so freaking fun. The Ciate Glitter Flip Liquid Lipsticks, uh, they do come in seven different shades and I got to try the purple one at Gen Beauty in San Francisco and it was so much fun. I'm almost sad that they weren't even selling them because I wanted to like snatch one right then and there. <laughs> now um, the way that this uh, glitter flip lipstick works is you put on the shade and it goes on you know pretty opaque I mean if you want to you can add a little bit more and once you put it on you wait till it dries down it goes down completely matte now if you want to you go ahead and you rub your lips together and you pop them like this and then the magic happens. Your lips go from matte to glitter and it isn't chunky glitter at all. You almost can't even feel it but when you look in the mirror it's just like glitter lips. It's amazing. It's so much fun and you just keep popping your lips like that to get the glitter to come out more and more. So you can make it subtle. You can make it really really vibrant. It's all up to you but it's so much fun. Fun. They retail for $19 each and you can get them on the Sephora website. I definitely want to get the purple one and the red one. It just looks, they both look really beautiful. All the shades, but I think I'll probably get more use out of those too because that's just what I tend to gravitate to. Don't you hate when you're watching somebody's Snapchat story or Instagram story? I mean, a beauty influencer, of course. And they put on that black and white filter and then they show you something like this and they're like oh something exciting is coming up and you're like no no girl show me now what are you talking about well this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette that is coming out soon 
Honestly, I have no details for you about when it's going to launch or what the colors are, but I love Norvina. I think she has a really interesting style of makeup and taste in things, and I just can't wait to see what she comes out with. Usually, she's very, very picky and on point about, you know, shadows and pigmentations and all that, so I can't wait. I mean, isn't this picture just like, uh, you want to like take this filter off and see what's going to be in it. I love ABH uh, palettes and shadows. I didn't get the subculture one just because I'm not a big fan of the actual formula from the looks of it, but I swatched it in stores and it's very pigmented. I just like, I'm not a big fan of Fallout, but I can't wait to see what this one is because I feel like it's going to be very different. So recently, Marc Jacobs launched six different iconic palettes. Now, I don't have all of them, but I do have this one. It's called Provocateur, and this is it. It comes with about seven different shades. This is the more pinky toned kind of thing here. Now, it is quite expensive, guys, because Marc Jacobs is more of a you know luxury brand this palette here is $49 that's how much it retails for but let me show you guys some of these swatches I mean my goodness my goodness okay so they go on really really smooth blend really really nicely and if you want to like smoke it up they have this beautiful black with like gold reflex kind of shade. They also have a more deeper kind of like magenta shade as well. That one right there. Now honestly, I would say you guys, this is uh, a palette that's really nice if you like color. And I mean, look at that so freaking pretty they are very pigmented so they are going to be brown girl friendly i mean like look at these swatches they're really 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 beautiful i like the slimmer sleek kind of packaging there's a mirror in here by the way and you can close it and you know it's like travel friendly it's very light and they do have the descriptions and names on the back as well so they have a bunch of different types of palettes. They have a green one, they have a blue one, they have a neutrals one. So, I mean, you're gonna find something that you like. Now, I know that a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, you know what? I wanna support Marc Jacobs after what he's done. If you don't know, you know, back when one of the fashion weeks he had, uh, he basically appropriated a black hairstyle but didn't want to use black models so it was very strange um like i said you know what this type of video i do want to talk about products that are hot that are coming out and even though i necessarily don't want to support that kind of behavior in the industry i do need to talk about it because it's coming out you know what i mean um now moving on this whole collection right here is Banging is banging. Now, if you haven't seen my video on the Desi and Katie and Dose of Colors collaboration, you need to check it out. I bought the whole collection and I swatched it on my skin tone and also on fair skin. So um, I definitely suggest, honestly, you're gonna love the whole thing. But if you want some more detailed talk about the collection and a little tutorial, that video is just, it's bomb.com. Now, my favorite, favorite uh, part of the makeup collection is, I do love the eyeshadow palette, but I promise you guys, if you combine MAC Chestnut, the nude lipstick, more creamer please, and the lip gloss over the top, oh my God, it's gonna be like fire on your lips. It's like a nude lipstick lover's dream. <laughs> Of course, if you're not as dark as me, then you can go ahead and skip out on MAC Chestnut, but both those lip products from the collection combined are banging. Now y'all know, I'm a sucker for packaging. I mean, look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love hollow. Ugh, okay. So I'm gonna stop flashing this around. This is the new Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. Now, let me open it up for you guys so you can see what this looks like. 
Now, this is a PR uh, sample. They did send it to me through PR. I haven't had the chance to actually try this yet, but this is the actual box of what it's going to look like in stores. And this is the actual full-size mascara. Now, the full-size mascara retails for $24, and they're gonna have a smaller travel size for $11. So, let me take this out. I mean, look at this. This is hella cute. Ooh. So, the wand is definitely uh, designed to, like, separate your lashes. And, man... Um, I did look at the little description that they sent along with it, and it does say that they have two types of black pigment in it, so it's going to give you very intense black, and it does have vitamin E in it, so it's supposed to, you know, be nice and semi-healthy for your lashes, and also panthenol. Now, I mean, if you really care about the health of your lashes, mascara does dry out your lashes, but hey... We all use mascara and my lashes have yet to fall off, so I think that's totally fine. <laughs> the fact that it has a vitamin E and panthenol in it is really nice. And I mean, come on, this little like hollow packaging is, ooh, it's nice. So the mascara will launch in September of this year. I don't have an exact date for you guys, but you'll be able to get it, you know, on the Urban Decay website, um, in Sephora, and Ulta, and they do say that also some select Macy's stores. So that's really cool. I mean, my goodness. Just look at the hollow again. It's nice. Now, I hope you enjoyed me babbling about all this new makeup. Um, I'm just like... Man, now I gotta save my money because uh, I'm fitness to spend a lot on these collections that are coming out. But I definitely wanna know what you guys are most excited to purchase out of all the things that I've talked about. And definitely let me know what other videos you guys wanna see. On my Instagram Live, I had a suggestion to do more holiday looks for, you know, the holidays that are coming up. And also some matte and metallic lipsticks or lip combos, so I'm down with that. And I wanna know what else you guys wanna see on my channel. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out some of these other videos over here. And if you're not subscribed, girl, don't wait any longer. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.